right? We will continue the from the previous topic that is has diagram. So here the question is draw the has diagram for the partial ordering a comma b such that a divides b. On this side, b equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. Or which are the divisors of 60. If they give divisors of 60, you have to first write this set. And then on that, you have to do the partial ordering relation. So then now, are there greatest and least elements? If so, mention them. Find LUB and GLB of the subsets A1 equals to 4, 10. <coughs> now you start from the smaller element. 1 divides all the elements. So 1 will come at the least it comes at the bottom end so then 1 divides 2 1 divides 3 1 divides 5 i am writing 1 divides 2 and 2 divides 4 so 1 divides 4 is transitive which is not shown here as an explicit edge so 1 divides 2 and 2 divides 4 4 divides 12 12 divides 60 then 1 divides 3 3 divides 6 6 divides 12 and 6 divides 30 1 divides 5, 5 divides 10, 5 divides 15, then 10 divides 20 and 20 divides 30 and 15 divides 30 and 30 divides 60. So likewise we are going to draw this hash diagram. Now 1 and 60 are the least and greatest element because 1 is having relation with every other element and it is the starting point whereas 60 it is related with all the elements but 60 is uh, having relation with all other elements. So, 60 is the greatest element. Next is upper bound of A1. So, 4 and 20, 10. So, 4 is here, 10 is here. So, here from, from both 4 and 10, 20 is the upper bound. And after 20, 60 is the upper bound. So, 20 and 60 are the upper bound and uh, 20 is the least upper bound. Among 20 and 60, 20 is the least upper bound. Then lower bound of 4 and uh, 10 is 2 and 1. And among that, 2 is the greatest lower bound. So 1 and 2, 2 is the greatest lower bound. Next, draw the hazard has diagram for A, that is a divisibility relation, where A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And for all other um, sets, it is written here. So next here, 1 divides 2, 1 divides 3, 1 divides 5, 1 divides 7, 2 divides 4, 2 divides 8, 2 divides 6, 3 divides 6. So this is your first one. Now here you have a lower element that is a minimal element 1 but you have maximal elements uh, for maximal element. There is no greatest element but you have a least element. So here you have a least element but there are there is no greatest element. All are maximal elements. So likewise you can do the hash diagram for the given problem. So here you can if you observe minimal elements if you are seen 3 and 5, there is no least element because there are multiple minimal elements and maximum, maximal elements are 24 and 45 and again since there are multiple maximal elements, you will not be having greatest element and uh, that's why here it is written least and greatest element does not exist. You have multiple maximal and multiple minimal elements. And then for the subset m equals to 3, 9 and 15. Find the maximum minima uh, least elements, greatest and least elements of m equal to 3, 9, 15. So 3, 9 and 15. Minim, uh, minimum uh, among this, uh, the least, <coughs> least element of uh, m is 3 and the greatest element for 3, 9, and 15, 3, 9 and 15, upper bound, upper bound is 15, lower bound is 3, upper bound is uh, 
3, uh, 45 and lower bound is 3. So likewise again here, upper bound, lower bound for various subsets has been found for the given diagram, as diagram. So this is also, if you want uh, one I can explain, find the least upper bound and least lower bound of C, E. So C and E. So here the lower bounds are C and A, upper bounds are E, F, G, H, I, J. And the lower bounds as we told it is C and A, the greatest lower bound is C and the least upper bound is E. Yes, that is the least one. Now prove that Prof. Cosette has a least element which is unique. So, suppose x, y belongs to A and both are the least element. Suppose if you have multiple least element, then we will prove by contradiction. Then since x is the least element, x is related to y and since y is the least element, y is related to x. And since r is anti-symmetric, because we know that poset is having a feature of anti-symmetric, it follows that x is equal to y. Therefore, poset has a unique least element. Next is the definition of a lattice. So, lattice is a poset in which every pair of elements has both least upper bound and greatest lower bound. That is, if AR is a poset and if for all A, X, Y belongs to A, LUB and GLB of XY exist, then AR is called as a lattice. Example, A equals to 1 to 3 and R is a relation defined on the power set of A. It is a poset. Next is topological ordering. Topological sorting of a directed acyclic graph DAG is a linear ordering of vertices such that for every directed edge UV, the vertex U comes before vertex V in the ordering. That is, if you are uh, having a company that in the manufacturing company, so suppose you have the task divided into multiple stages, then each of these stages you cannot start before it completes the previous stage. At that point, the topological ordering can be used. So, in this diagram, you can observe that for starting uh, doing work, doing A, there is no prerequisite. So, A can be done without any prerequisite. So, A comes here. Then after doing the a, you can again start with B or you can start with C. It is up to you. So, you can have multiple uh, topological ordering. Only one or two here it is written. Then A, B and C. For doing H, I have to complete A and C. That is the edge represents here. Then uh, A, B, C first uh, here. Then D, E, F because the uh, to do D, B has to be done, so which is already done. Then for doing F, B has to be done, which is already done. Then D, E, F, then you can start with G, H, I. This is one of the order. So likewise, for any poset, you can write the topological ordering. So we will stop here and in the next video, we will start with the functions. Thank you.